Hey guys, I got my insurance policy today, my health insurance from Pacific Cross today. I want to kind of share it with you today. Um, I pay about 56,000 pesos, which is right around $1,000, okay, with the current um, rate for exchanging dollars into pesos. It's right around almost exactly $1,000 for my plan for one year. Now, I kind of have like a Filipino plan. Um, I'm, I'm planning on changing into like a more advanced plan probably within the next year or two. Um, I'm waiting to get over a few things with, I'm putting my, um, my, my girlfriend's daughter through college right now. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna probably step it up a little bit and get a little bit better insurance. And we'll see how that goes. But I wanna share this with you guys today. Um, my, my insurance plan, reason why I want to share this because I want you guys to know what it costs. Now I'm, I'm right at around 60 years old. Okay. Um, I'm I'll, in March, I'll be 60. Okay. <clears throat> so this policy here carries me into 60 all the way up until next August. Okay. And I do have an exclusion, uh, for sciatica and all and any complications related to thereof, which is just back issues, maybe leg issues, stuff like that. But, um, uh, sciatica, I'm not too worried about that. I, I, I you know, that was a pre-existing condition and the milit the VA does cover that for me. So I'm all set as far as that goes. But I, I did want to share my policy. Now, my policy is called uh, Pacific Cross uh, Select Plus Private, which means I get a private room. Okay, and again, the cost was 50, it was actually 54,642 pesos. Uh, then there was taxes of 1,402. So the total was 56.045. Okay, and um, let me see, I'll get into this a little bit more. But it's called the Select Plus Private. Okay, and it's a, it's a really good policy for what you pay each year. Okay, because I've actually used this policy when I went in for my... Um, my kidney stones and they did cover some of the um, emergency room visit now they didn't cover um, the other part of the hospital bill because of the fact that they didn't admit me but what was weird was <clears throat> they actually put me in a COVID ward um, and they were planning on keeping me but they never physically admitted me so they put me there and they let me out that night okay so but they did allow my my um medical bills to be partially covered through the emergency room thing, which wasn't very much, but they covered some of it. I'm going to go through the core benefit schedule here and the limits. <clears throat> now, the maximum benefit limit is is 1,500,000 pesos, okay? The maximum benefit per treatment aggregate limit per year. Um, the co-payment, non-applicable, uh, claim settlement, 100% reimbursement, not to exceed the plan limit, um, or direct settlement by the company through its accredited network. Um, here we go, inpatient hospital benefits. Room and board, uh, including nursing care as charged, they cover, okay? Miscellaneous inpatient uh, charges for required diagnostic laboratory tests, uh, prescri prescribed medicines, uh, physiotherapies, blood and components, anesthesia and surgical appliance as charged, okay? Uh, attending physicians, uh, visit daily visit fee limit of three thousand. So over that you'd probably have to cover um, any any other uh, fees or anything, and that's usually like that's probably like one or two visits. I'll say three thousand. Um, might even be as much as three because I can go see a doctor here in town for about six hundred pesos. So three thousand is actually to you guys back in the United States. You're saying sixty bucks. Well, that's only one one doctor's visit per day. <clears throat> More than likely, unless it's a specialist. It's probably going to cover your your regular medical doctor's fees or whatever. Uh, specialist fees. Um, it says for ten days for each disability per year to a daily limit of three thousand. Okay. Uh, private duty nurse one thousand eight hundred at home for for only only for up to five days immediately after hospitalization and when certified necessary by an attending physician. Uh, daily visit fee to a limit of one thousand eight hundred. That's that's. Not too bad, okay? Uh, procedure done on an outpatient basis. Okay, for select procedures and approved, as approved by Pacific Cross, coverage for uh, dilation and cure, curatage 
DNC procedure uh, is for non-maternity related conditions only. So, and it says as uh, subject to limit of the inpatient hospital medical benefit. Uh, critical care, intensive care unit, cor uh, coronary care unit, telemetry, maximum of 10 days per disability per year as charged. Okay. Uh, surgical benefits, uh, surgeon's fee. Uh, it's 180,000 pesos. That's quite a lot. Um, in the Philippines, it is. It, back home, you know, that's not much. But over here in the Philippines, that's actually quite a lot, and it's quite decent. And it says the amount to be covered is based on the total fees of the surgeon surgeon or surgeons, including pre-surgical assessment and normal post-surgical care while the insured person is confined in the treatment country up to, up to a a per disability per year limit of and then um we'll go into the next thing um anesthesiologist anesthesiologist fee uh 72,000 pesos okay this is not to exceed 40 percent of the approved amount payable to the surgeons up to a per disability per year limit of okay elective surgery scheduled uh surgery arranged by the company only within accredited network, the insured person must give a 10-day notice. And uh, it says limit direct settlement of covered portion of confinement and treatment cost by the company. Uh, artificial limbs, it says including rental of mechanical devices, it says as charged. Medical implant due to accident um, covers cost of implantable devices necessary for surgical procedure to treat a covered injury resulting in it from an accident. It says 25000 Um Let's see, emergency benefits, uh, emergency dental services due to a covered accident as charged. Um, emergency outpatient uh, treatment for covered emergency treatment not leading to confinement as provided by the outpatient patient department of a hospital or licensed doctor in, in his clinic up to a maximum limit per disability per year, 7,000 pesos. It doesn't sound like much, does it? But, you know, some emergencies like a broken arm or something like that, that would probably cover it, believe it or not. Um, it doesn't cost much. Medical here is really cheap in, in comparison with the U.S. Um, so this plan is not that bad. Me, I want to have more coverage in the future. Uh, this here is good enough for me now. I have some money in the bank uh, for emergencies. I have credit cards if I need to use them. Uh, it goes on to emergency local ambulance service. Uh, from place of occurrence to the nearest hospital facility or hospital to hospital using a land transportation service if local land facility is not available other transportation facilities are allowed subject to the approval of pacific cross up up to a per disability per year limit of fifteen thousand. but it says as charged okay emergency overseas coverage worldwide co coverage is included for no more than 30 days per trip uh, for travel overseas during a policy year reimbursement of overseas medical expenses is for emergency cases only so it's emergency cases only uh, up to it says uh, um, up to maximum benefit limit subject to, to to the inner limits of the inpatient hospitalization emergency outpatient treatment that are based on on currently applicable medical rates of the company's predetermined Philippine tertiary hospital okay um, now we get into annual uh, physical examination. It says 100% uh, direct settlement by the company through its accredited APE clinics or laboratories requires prior appointment via no cash outlay, okay? Um, this is for your annual physical examination. You can go for taking of medical history, comprehensive uh, physical examination, complete blood count, <clears throat> chest x-ray, stool analysis, urinalysis, lipid profile, uh, blood urea, nitrogen, uh, fasting blood, sugar, serum, glu glu glutamic, uh, pyruvic, uh, transaminase, whatever that is, uh, uh, creatinine, uh, uric acid, pap smear for female, uh, electrocardiogram, ECG for insured 35 years old or above, and it says included is the limit, okay? Um, Value added benefits, companion allowance for a maximum of 10 days. They pay 300 per day. Uh, free child coverage for newborn or female insured. It's as included. Sports coverage for recreational sports, including skiing and, and scuba excluding contact sports. Uh, it says included. Worldwide 
uh, emergency assistance benefits. Now, insured person must be traveling 100 miles or 150 kilometers or more from his permanent primary legal address or in another country, uh, which is not his country of residence for less than 91 days unless otherwise endorsed by the policy, okay? Um, the following are, are benefits provided. Uh, medical consultation, evaluation, uh, hospital admission assistance, following a medical evacuation, a medical monitoring, prescription assistance, emergency message tra uh, transmission, interpreter and legal referrals, lost luggage and document assistance. This is all stuff that's included in this. Um, it also gives them the uh, core benefit schedule, emergency cash coordination, pre-trip information, gets into a bunch of availment of services through the company's designated assistance provider for the following benefits, limit per, limit per year of uh, emergency medical evacuation. Um, this stuff's really compassionate visits. It talks about stuff that really doesn't matter too much. Um, personal accident coverage for accidental, accidental death. Uh, applicable to insured age 15, uh, 16 to 65, up to 60 years old for new business, up to 65 years old for renewing accounts, and it says 75,000, okay? So that's the plan. It's a really, you know, it's, it's a decent plan here. Um, again, that's through Pacific Cross I used. If you guys want the, the lady's name, you can, you can that, I, that I go through, that I use, you can just email me at steven5975 at yahoo.com if you would like to get a policy like that. Eventually, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. They have another plan. Um, it's, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, I'll probably switch to that. Um, each year, when you when you when you do the um, renewal, they send you this here. It's a um, it's a gift voucher to Restans. It's only for like ten dollars, but it's nice to have. Um, I don't shop at Ristan's that much because it's kind of a ritzy store, but I'm gonna, I, I, I go there once in a while when I go over to the um, Alabang Town Center Mall. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm gonna be doing another video this week about a $1,000 budget for um, SRRV uh, courtesy visa people, the guys that are on the, um, the, the, mili the, 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 that are military people that use the, um, PRA to get their visas for them and they pay $1,500 into their security deposit and $1,400 um, for the application fee and you only pay $10 per year from there on and I'm making up a budget for these people because <clears throat> the PRA says you can come over here if you have a pension of $1,000 or more and, and you know if you can if you have a pension you're over the age of 50 you can you can avail yourself of that type of visa it's the SRRV you know courtesy visa and it's for for veterans that have served at least two years in the military and have an honorable discharge okay and I, I did a I'm doing a special budget for them I'm going to talk about that a little bit because it's really a, a, a great budget for these people because if you a lot of guys are coming over here now and they're staying single and if you stay single over here and you got like 10 thousand dollars in the bank and a few credit cards that are empty and stuff like that and you got like a startup fee to come over here at least five or ten thousand dollars for a startup to fix up your house and the emergency fund you're ready to roll over here pretty much and you can pretty much survive on a thousand provided you get a cola raise it's when you start getting up into the 70s and stuff like that you got to start worrying a little bit more but as long as you got a cola raise every year you should be able to keep up with it um, I'd like to see people have more than a thousand um, if you are going to have a girlfriend over here and you're on a thousand dollar budget, um, yes, you can probably make it now, but it's going to be a little, little bit rough. And if your girlfriend gets sick or something, where are you going to get the money from? You know what I'm saying? So I tell people, you know, try to have more than that if you can to come over here. I don't like to see people coming over on less than 1500. And if you're going to get, have a girlfriend or something, I would say have, have at least 1500 because when you get into your seventies, you're going to need. Uh, more money for for health insurance a lot of guys will say say well I don't think I'm gonna make it to 70 and, and maybe you won't but maybe you will and if you do and you get sick You're gonna need some you know, you're gonna need some health care coverage But I, I did want to go through this here and, and be sure you, you watch my video on that and I'm gonna be doing that over the next couple of days I guess I'm gonna try to put it together tonight. I've already started 
working it out in my head because um, I was thinking about this the other day and I said, you know something, it's possible. I, I don't like to put people on, on those low, low ball budgets and some people say, well, $1,000, Steve, is not that bad. I'm living down here and in, in so-and-so in whatever island or whatever and I'm, I'm doing down here on 800 or whatever. But some of those guys are used to like just sitting around the house and vegetating and, and that's okay. They're, they, they're okay with that. But I, I like to have a budget where you can live a little bit. You can be happy. You got good food. Um, and a lot of guys can't adjust to Filipino food over here. So I, 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 I'm going to put that, that budget out, and it's a good budget, and I think you guys will be happy with it when you watch it. But God bless, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, Stephen5975 at yahoo.com. Um, if, you, if you need the email, you know, again, Stephen5975 at yahoo.com, and you can just ask me about the Pacific Cross agent if you're interested in having that insurance policy, and she can talk to you about all the prices. Or you can go through Pacific Prime, and Pacific Prime can give you quotes too. God bless, guys. Take care.